can you say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to let each one of you introduce yourself. My name is Arvind Ben Tama, Grassway in Yak High School. You know, at school they only see a certain amount of people, so it's really important to get them out in our community to learn how to interact appropriately. Hi. Yeah. Appropriate voice, body language. How do you meet someone? How do you greet someone? Every time they see somebody, they'll say good morning. How are you? We encourage them to at least put a smile on one person's face a day. Let my buddy know I like his new hairdo. <laughs> Does it look good? Yeah, of course. You know, the students are uh, part of my day. Every time I see them, you know, they make me smile. Yes, I want to work here. They do a great job here. They're like family to us. Fun and have a great time. All the students are great. Every day they come in and make us smile and it always makes our day better. I'm meeting new friends and getting out to this place. They've got a big job on them and they do it so well. They come in here and, and they just fill our spirits. Hard workers and very energetic when they come in. Always come in with a smile on their face. Clean and dependable. The friendly they do at some work. I'm very proud. We've we'll got the Goodwill and Red Wobbin. Fantastic workers. All the staff are impressed with their level of dedication, their de dependability, and their love of what they do. We don't let just anybody do our grain because it's such a specific thing, and if it's switched the wrong way to a different animal, uh, something could die. And Terry does a great job. He, he knows what he's doing, he's confident, he comes in and he goes straight there. And it saves us tons of time. With too many tastes, so many how you make a uh, uh, correct. That if they had just been in a, a closed environment, not out in the real world, they wouldn't have the experiences uh, that they're having here. I'm greater talking people. We're going to wipe off tables, chairs, and clean microwaves in the UMPH dining area. I'm sure it's a paper. So we, we wash our hands and we, we just wash tables and stuff. I uh, serve the employees at the Hotel Holiday Inn. We've been able to teach them some different skills in terms of even things that they can bring back to a household like vacuuming and basic cleanup. Then we fold it again for this show LA. Oh, they hang up the clothes. But the shoes, what to do? You search and make sure they're the same. We tie. When metro schools are closed, they're missed very much. They do help us with a lot of the things that we need help on, like the wrapping the bread and the floor stock. It's been wonderfully enriching for the hotel and its employees. It's a great win-win situation. It's really great here, I like it. It's a great program for any healthcare facility to have, or any facility for that matter. They work hard like us, you know? <laughs> I mean, they need to be put on payroll. In the United States, approximately 70% of individuals with disabilities are unemployed. These are caring, diligent, hardworking individuals, and they want to work. It is our mission to help our students learn employability skills, and then to gain and maintain meaningful employment. Whether we're talking about our students, your children, or your business, the community-based transition programs have the power to forever change lives. The community awareness, exposure to new opportunities, and access to a highly dedicated group of employees these programs provide are unparalleled. Yes, Metro Nashville Public Schools needs your support in maintaining this program, but it's your students, your children, your businesses, and your employees who will truly benefit from this collaboration.